should we pretend Armenia and Azerbaijan are tarred with the same brush? No. This is a war of aggression by the Azeri dictator Aliyev, supported by President Erdogan's jihadist allies from Turkey, to enforce the injustice of Joseph Stalin's separation of Nagorno-Karabakh from Armenia, sanction Aliyev the aggressor, expel Turkey from the OSCE and Minsk group, have the courtesy not to portray the suffering people of Artsakh as equally belligerent as President Aliyev. In the words of Andrei Sakharov, for Azerbaijan, the issue of Armenia is a matter of ambition. For the Armenians of Karabakh, it is a matter of life and death. Whatever Baku gets up to there, they can do it thanks to Erdogan, who's shown his determination to finish the genocide begun 100 years ago. It's unimaginable that the EU still sees him as a partner. He spread terror with jihisti mercenaries in the Caucasus, Iraq, Syria, Libya and the Mediterranean. As unofficial speaker for the Nonaskri group, I hereby recognize the Republic of Artsakh. I hope that others will follow and provide them with the protection of the international community that has denied, been denied to them for too long. I want to express my deep sorrow for all civilians in Akona Karabakh. Secondly, I call those who are responsible to end all violence. And let me be clear, an immediate ceasefire is paramount. There are even indications of the use of cluster ammunition, an absolute red line. There are also indications that Turkey is playing a growing role back in Azerbaijan. These are signs that Turkey has sent Syrian menageries and weapons, including offensive drones. And why has this not been confirmed yet, I ask Mr. Borrell, as the EU has so many intelligence services with vast resources? I don't understand. The European Council conclusion last week were very clear, Mr. Borrell. You are responsible for finding a strong European response. Therefore, I would like to know, will we stay quiet or will we act to bring this violence to an immediate end? There is no time to lose. As Amnesty International has indicated, the bombing of Stepanakert and the use of different types of weapons is a very, very serious violation of international human rights. With the support of Turkey, threatens the stability of the whole Caucasus. The Commission must increase its pressure to Azerbaijan and Turkey to halt the military aggressions against the Armenian people and reject the use of violence to change the status quo in the region. Spain is the main member state selling weapons to Turkey. This must be stopped by the Commission, Mr. Borrell. The conflict can and will be solved through constructive negotiation between the parties. But to reach a peaceful solution that res must respect the self-determination right of the citizens in the Republic of Arzak. Thank you very much. Mr. President, the aggression from uh, uh, Azerbaijan and its uh, Turkish um, partners against Armenia should mobilize us. The Armenian people have already suffered by the genocide uh, f from Turkey. The Nagorno-Karabakh drive for democracy is something we should salute. I also call for the need to recognize the, and respect the right to self-determination of the people of Nagorno-Karabakh, for the need to uphold their democratic will and choices already made several times. This is not only a territorial issue. Without respect, respecting the democratic will of the people of Artsakh, I am afraid there will hardly be a viable and fair way out of this conflict. We are witnessing again uh, today the brutal intervention of uh, Erdogan with the, his uh, rhetorics and the mercenaries he is transferring there, the weapons he is providing to Azerbaijan. Again, he is uh, the focus of aggression. When it comes to action, we are passive. Of course, our hearts go out to the Armenians and uh, the uh, symbol of Ararat should uh, return to the Armenians again. This is unacceptable. We find ourselves, uh, we, we have to stand with the people of Armenia. Let's not forget, they suffered a horrific genocide. And I think the time has come finally for all of us to stand at their side and to condemn Turkey. Please keep your eyes and ears open. What's happening here? 
despot Erdogan, he wants to restore the old Ottoman Empire. He's been aggressive within and without Turkey. We know this. Many victims, Armenia, Nagorno-Karabakh. We can't stop him just by talking. It's time that the EU now draws a line in the sand. We need sanctions against the regime in Ankara. I stand with the Armenian 